This is the new 2017 Z06 Arctic White red interior, 8-speed automatic transmission. And we'll take a little walk by here, introduce you to the young lady. We've lowered the car, and lowering is not a big deal. Um, there are lowering bolts come from the factory on the car. You need a jack stand, it would help. See this jack stand right here? You put the jack stand, you put it right under the uh, uh, leaf spring, uh, fiberglass leaf spring. I would put a little board on that, put it on the leaf spring. Then you take your jack over here and you jack up the car, and it has four jacking points, one on each corner of the car. There's a hole, you can put it right in. I have a little thing I did. <laughs> I took a, a puck and I put a bolt through it. And I put a bolt through the puck. And then uh, this part, you set it on the jack and it goes up into the hole like that and it jacks the car up. And then once I get the car jacked up, I stick the uh, jack stand under there and I put it so it takes pressure off the spring so you can turn the bolt. You can almost turn it by hand. It's very easy. If you're really grunting to try to turn it, the lowering bolt, uh, you'll find that you're doing something wrong. You got to put, you got to jack, uh, jack the car up a little bit more, and uh, I'll lower the jack a little bit more actually to put more pressure on the, uh, on the leaf spring so you can lift it up and move the uh, bolt. It sounds complicated. It's very easy. Once you do it, you say, "Oh gosh, this is so damn easy." So, uh, if you want to lower your car, that's fine. Uh, a lot of people say, "Oh, you shouldn't be lowering your car." You you need to get drop spindles or whatever, and they, uh, you know, it's gonna throw off everything. You know, I think personally, the reason they have these cars jacked up because they look like four, they look like a four by four when you get them off the transporter or at, at the dealership is because of transporting. Because these cars, if they were lowered down to where they are now, they'd have a heck of a time getting them off the transporter. Jack them up, leave it to us, I see nothing in the owner's manual that says you're going to ruin your uh, magnetic ride control or something if you lower the car. So I think that's BS. But that's my personal opinion. You'll get a few of those as we go along here. Side skirts, they come actually in the car and the dealer puts them on. Some dealers forget to put them on. And the front splitter, they forget to put on the front splitter too. Look at that. Mine's on now. When I got the car, they weren't on. They were not on the car. Three weeks of bitching and moaning, Chevrolet customer service and the dealership, finally they put them on. They come inside the car, they don't put them on for transport because you know why? They think they get wrecked uh, on transport, taking the car on and off the transporter. Those would all be ripped off. So anyway, we got that fixed. There's another story. If I have time, I'll tell you about it. Um, no real um, engine modification yet. I am going to put an air cleaner on there. I'll show it to you, and I'm going to put it all on on tape. I'm not going to go in and say, I got my new air cleaner in. There it is. And you never see how it's done. I'm going to show you how it's done step by step. Why not? If I know how to do it, I'll show you how to do it. I don't know everything, but I know a few things. This is my, by the way, this is my fourth Z06. I had a 2002. And then I had a 2006 and a 2008. Um, so this is three generations of Z06s I've actually owned. I didn't own the first generation Z06. Would love to have, but had no money then. Couldn't afford it. So anyway, uh, one little sticker I put on here I kind of like. It's this one right here. And it shows you that it's a Z06. I kind of like that. Axe. One on either side. The other thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to do a video on it too. The guys are going to show you how they do it. We're going to put a racing stripe right on the center of the hood there. And then we're going to put it right on the center of the uh, roof. And see where that, see, can you see where that uh, line goes? See if I can show it. Yeah, see where that line goes. It's going to go right in between those two lines there. And then there's a third piece. It's going to go down right on the back section uh, right here. Okay. So you're going to see that. We'll do a video on that. You'll see how all that's done. Also, I have on the side of my car, uh, when I got the car, I saw it, Z06 was embossed on the wheel. 
but it wasn't painted. What the heck? So I got some paint out, took some paint thinner and put it on a, a Q-tip, painted the rims. I didn't get everything perfect because I'm not a painter. So then I just went around with a Q-tip and wiped around it and uh, came out pretty good. Not bad for an old fart, huh? So there you go. You might have noticed when I started showing the car there was a two-wheeler over here. This is kind of interesting too. This is a Yamaha FJ09 three banger or triple a lot of people call it. Zero to sixty in 2.9 seconds. My little doll over here is zero to sixty in 2.95 with the automatic transmission. Manufacturers claims. So I'm going to claim that these, the car and the bike are pretty much just as fast as one another up to a certain point. I think eventually this thing runs out of room and the Corvette might do, what, 190, 195, whatever. I don't know. But, but anyway, normal driving and spirited driving, these two are going to be pretty close to each other no matter what happens. Very interesting bike and reasonably priced too. Uh, I did make, change one thing. I changed the um, windscreen up here because the uh, windscreen uh, was too low, it came down to about here, the stock one. And so I put it up higher, I'm 6'1", so now it blows the air over my helmet and not into my helmet, which is nice. Uh, this is a mount for my GoPro, I'm sorry, my GoPro, my uh, Garmin. And uh, lots of times you go on rides with a riding group, motorcycle group here in the villages and we'll go 40, 50, 60 miles in one way, and sometimes I don't know my way back. I put the Garmin in here, and uh, I can find my way back. It takes me back. I love the Garmin. So that's all, oh, and I have a tank bag that goes on here. You can't see it. It clips on here nicely. And uh, then, I have, uh, <laughs> then I have the save your ass seat. Uh, this seat that comes on, the, uh, the stock seat that comes on the Yamaha, is uh, awful. It's like sitting on concrete. My butt was screaming. I, you know, it's just I could go for a couple hours and I get off the bike. I could hardly walk. This beaded seat, which looks more uncomfortable than the seat that's under it, is actually ten times more comfortable. Save my butt every time I get on here and my butt hits this seat. My, I can hear my butt saying, "Oh, thank you, thank you." So I mean, it really, this works. Works for me anyway. Uh, also. Uh, I have a little webbing thing here. I can stick the fender of something I want to carry home. I was going to get saddlebags. They want stupid money for saddlebags. I haven't decided to spend the money on them yet. I don't think it's worth what they're asking for right now, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Also, note that this car, has, um, this car has red interior, which I love. It reminds me of the old 53 first year Corvette. They were all white with red interior. I have a white Corvette with red interior. It uh, blows my skirt up, if you know what I mean. Uh, there's the automatic transmission. We're going to talk about that. We're going to drive with it. I'm going to show you some of the tricks I found about the automatic transmission that some of you might not know. It's really amazing what this damn car will do. But we're going to do, do some live driving. We'll show you how that all works out, too. So stay tuned. I just wanted to do a little video. Let you know I'm out and about, and uh, we're going to be shooting some videos and having some fun. We'll probably post at least once a week a video, mostly all around the Corvette. We'll probably do a riding video with the FJ09 and show you how that works. This, uh, by the way, this also has ABS brakes, and I've had to use them, and they work great. And it also has um, traction, the traction control. And so that really works good too because otherwise I'd be doing wheelies all day and I'm not a big wheelie fan, you know what I mean? <laughs> so um, I'm not into wheelies yet. My nephew is, but I'm not. So there you have it. Subscribe if you would. Hit the button down below and do a subscribe. And uh, also, uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you have any comments or questions, throw them on underneath down below and I'll try to answer them as best I can. I've owned 16 of these cars from 1966 on. I've had a lot of experience. I don't know everything. Nobody knows everything. But I do know a few things and maybe something that you have a question about I might be able to answer and I'll give it a shot. 
So leave the questions down there. I'll try to answer every question that you put on uh, down below on the on the on the uh, on the place where you add comments, and I'll try to answer every question that uh, you present to me. So anyway, we're going to have some fun. I'm having some fun doing this. I think you'll have some fun. Take right along with me as we have some fun with the Z06 Corvette and the FJ09 Yamaha. Back and drive. 